Rude, but nothing in Astral. Is, is that even a value point anymore? I'm asking such noob questions because I literally don't see this hero. No, it, and I they mean, redesign I, it like three different times. I honestly am just as curious as you are to see how Arteezy skills here. Oh, well, we're going to see the Maledict set up with that casting to the right click from Ice Ice Ice, but Golden Brace is taken pretty early. Ice 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 getting some life steal off in the meantime. Pops the Fairy Fire as well. And with that Maledict fly, oh, so ends up netting the first blood for EG. Uh, old 11 needs to maybe be careful if there's level another level 5 now as we see Ori come in. Looks like he's going to apply the pressure to crit. Tries to roll away, but not going to happen. So evening up the scoreline is Vici Gaming. It's pretty swiftly as well. Yep. Uh, between Wyvern and Timber. This pretty much big all Big rotation from EG. This one... Yeah, they're going to want this real bad cast into Maledict. Flame Break to follow, and Lasso is there as well. But there's a cold Embrace healing up just a little bit. See how much damage this Maledict ends up doing. He's going to pop that wand. Timber chain to safety as DY gets taken out by Ice 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 in the meantime. Now Old Eleven looks to be dead as well. So EG picking up a double. You get the extra charge. You get two charges and it does more damage and it does AOE damage. So it helps you farm. Right. So I guess it's the farming item on OD here. It turns into the Astral of Old, as it yep. were. As Crit. Crit. Yep. Ori will be able to finish him off pretty easily. But there's the lasso. This will be a pretty big kill. Cold Embrace. Keeping him alive for now. He doesn't really have much mana, so he'll probably tick out here one way or the other. Trying to take Fly with him, but it's not going to be. So one for two. Jungle, but are you going to be able to keep killing these heroes? Or, okay, Ori. Oh, yeah, jumping in with that silence. Nicely done. Abed has the lasso as well. A huge kill for EG. As a choice for Storm to be able to take off silence from, from crit? Uh, I think it's too risky just because Yule's, Yule's against these heroes is kind of uh, dangerous, right? Like, you're also setting up the enemy team to land their yeah, combat. Yeah, sure, as we see. Oh, that's a good right, curse. Winter's Curse to try to cancel out that lasso into the Earth Spike to follow. You gladly Trading take that spells. spell trade. It's very good for Vici to not get killed yeah, by absolutely. this. Flame Break comes down. There's Ori jumping in. Arteezy has to astral himself for now. But you see the Magnetize being applied to basically everybody from Vici's side. Sandy's Eclipse just deletes Lion from the face of the Earth as Fly. Looks like he'll be the trade for now. Arteezy finally taken out. And look at this Magnetize. Crit is doing so much freaking damage. The Timbersaw does fall as well. But now Abed looks to be next for Vici as they're starting to clean up a little bit. But now the Silence onto the Storm Spirit. Ori. We'll be able to zip out safely, so a three for three. Close fight. Oh, yeah. The current form of OD is uh, like rolling the dice. You never really know how much damage you do because <laughs> nobody ever plays it or understands how the spell works. <laughs> ice, we ice, 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 and Ice 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 looks to be dead. That is so oh, much burst okay. damage from Vici. Yep, they got him down. Yeah, but how many of them have been even minute 20, though? Yep. Not That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I would rather be on the dire right now. Ah, bad jump. Ooh, the silence into Great the silence. lasso. PYW gets the impale onto two heroes. And that's going to buy enough time for Ori to zip on out of there. Ah, bad. I believe has a BKB coming shortly. Actually, 600 gold off is a curse. Again, a solo one onto Crit. He's going to turn this around onto Wyvern, it looks like. Not sure if they actually want to continue on here. They're looking for Crit here. Yeah, they don't really want to go for that. BG. There's an OD behind. Old 11, trying They're to find a little pressure here. Arteezy gets initiated on. The Haunt comes out, the Chalk from the Follow, and the Finger of Death. Wait, he astral himself just in time. I think they actually dodged the Finger of Death. It's a double astral now, but I do believe he's going to fall shortly after coming back here. And absolutely, Vici Gaming get that first quick kill. It's going to cost him the line for now. Turns into a 4v4, but definite advantage for Vici. As Ori still has a decent amount of mana left here. DY getting pressure by Ice 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 in the meantime. Abed going to get stunned, and Pioyo with... Old Eleven to help out. That ends up being a second core dead for EG. Yeah, I think OD needs. I think it needs a rework. Oh, another one? It's been a month. I, it's time. You know what? To rework OD again. I think we need to change his name as well. Oh, PYW in the fog here. They're gonna try to jump onto Abed. Does have finger of death? Not even needed though. Down Abed goes, and Crit was trying to save his comrade, but it's gonna cost him his life. Really addition. quick move, right? Yeah. Like in the blink of an eye, he's just gone. You don't you don't even get to react there. That's what Vici's lineup does so well, is when they isolate a hero, the amount of single target damage is just crazy. Okay. Storm, Ori. Gathering info. <laughs> All right, well, he gathered it. Uh, but yeah, three yeah. minutes still on the Aegis, and this is the timing that EG needs to, I mean, they have to, to do something. something. Oh, 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 the zip in onto Abed. BKB being shown from Ori. Oh, the curse. Starts on the sideline, and with the finger of death, Abed is done, and that means EG needs to get the hell out of here. Arteezy, in the meantime, getting slowed. Cast is going to come out to save him. He's going to have to astral himself, but he's inside a Chakram in the meantime. And yeah, he's going to get blown up. That is the Aegis, but I mean, for all intents and purposes, he's going to be dead twice here. Ice, ice, ice. He's not really being able to do much damage here. Uh, it looks like Arteezy actually blinked out, so. No, he saved himself. Oh, saving himself again. Okay. So this is going to be a full 
team wipe for Vici Gaming against an Aegis. I think the OD experiment has failed. I, yes, give us I your insight. I don't play it at all right now. This pike has felt zero impact to me in this game. I have actually not all right. seen Abe it with much the initiation, whatsoever. they have to all get right. this go. Absolutely have to. There's a Sandy Eclipse doing a little bit of damage. His right clicks do more, though, that's for sure. Oh, Blade Mail ended up reflecting quite a bit, but Arteezy will right. live and they will get that Spectre kill. Spectre can haunt, or when you don't want to smoke, you just park the Wyvern there and make sure he is safe and sound while farming. Arteezy closing in on the Hex. Old Eleven is just posing here. Obviously has the backup of his entire team. He's just giving yeah, info. Lotus applied to him. They're just going to jump Arteezy with the Finger of Death. So much burst damage, and down he goes along with Fly. And with that, probably more. Abed had the BKB, still got bursted down regardless. And that was just too easy. Yeah, not just against Ice Ice Ice, but just any Brood player, really. I think I've seen one game lose. It, it makes me wonder if EG's initial laning setup was worth it. Like, because I think OD had every side lane matchup he favored, so it could have also been bot. Oh, okay. 11, double Ashel into the sun from crit. There's the Winter's Curse. It's only a solo onto Arteezy for now, as DY is getting pressured from Ice 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 and crit. In the meantime, Arteezy does have Sandy's Eclipse, needs to get up his stacks though as DY continuing to get chased by Abed. Finally, they'll finish him off. Does have buyback available as Pioyo pops his BKB, turning onto Abed now. There's the buyback onto the Wyvern. Finger of Death onto RTZ, still silenced up into the stun. He can't even use his ult in these fights and they're, they are layering everything perfectly against him. Now Pioyo trying to go on to fly a little bit here. Looks like Ice 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 is gonna be the target now as Ori still with plenty of HP to work with. Doesn't have an Aegis or anything like that, so has to be a little bit careful, but they're going to find that third kill of the fight. Double kill for the Lion of all heroes. Now Abed facing the fire of Old Eleven Shard, and this is going to be a full team wipe for Vici Gaming, and I don't see a way back for EG anymore. Didn't really, like, you play it mid. That's where I usually saw it in pro. It's a Hail Mary, by the way, here, but it's going to get broken by Old Eleven. Good read. Yeah, and Old Eleven. Walks in and breaks they the smoke. definitely don't want to go on him, but there's the Haunt. And looks like Vici want to focus on crit to start things out. He gets Astral for now, but now the target is Arteezy himself. There's the Astral on himself again, but he's completely surrounded by members of Vici Gaming. Gets the Sandy's Eclipse off. He did probably 55 damage, and down he goes. So 5v4 in favor of Vici Gaming without the position one on EG to worry about. And this is going to be cleanup crew for them. And GG's are called, and this was a shellacking Cinderin. Got to be a confidence booster. It's a really good start to the series. They should understand what went wrong, and they probably should be aware of the risks that were involved with what they tried, right? Who doesn't uh, like the hero, by the way. I just want to yeah. throw that out there. He actually That's pretty funny. You make all these amazing loading screen art styles for Dota 1. <laughs> yeah. You get a hero named after yourself. And you don't even like it. Yeah. <laughs> Very sad. <laughs> Fly cool. will be first blooded by Old Eleven on the Mars. And bottom lane in the meantime, Crit and Ice 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 trying to do a little damage here throughout the entire game. And you can do it from fog because you're a, lot, a lot of times you're in the trees. Oh, Meanwhile, Arteezy, Arteezy yep, Curse Crown inside the Brambles. Old Eleven trying to reposition him. Actually just blocking now. I believe he's already used Spear, Arteezy. Maybe not actually. Yeah, Spear in a couple seconds, but it doesn't really matter. The Shadow Realm, enough to take out Arteezy. That is a, a very good spell. Oh, they're, they're doing the mid rotation armor. now. Yeah, Abba with the refraction right now. X marks into Torrent, and with DY and both PYW here, this should be a kill, but rotation from EG in the meantime. He actually gets the early level of meld like you talked about. And will stay alive as a result of that. Has a, another refraction, but it's not going to be enough. The oh. right clicks from Ori and company end up taking him out. They will get the support. Mm -hmm. And Vici Gaming, I think this is one of the hardest drafts he has had to face as, as terribly because they're up raising its priority so much in the draft. All right, good spell combo here. Yeah, flying with the Earth Spike X. into the Bushwhack. He has the Ghost Ship. Yeah, Abed oh, see. actually gets Cold Feet under his own tower. Boat is coming. Will Ori actually live? Crit continuing to chase him down. The boat does connect onto Abed, but it looks like he will live at least for now. And so will Gunka. So no kills somehow in this exchange, but Old Eleven, he's going in pretty deep. There's the arena. Fly gets caught with the spear. So finally, somebody dies in this lane, and it looks like they might find yet another follow-up as a nice rotation from Old Eleven. That's them two oh, kills. Could trade it, actually. The treads will, of course, help, but I imagine Arteezy will stay ahead of the curve for a while. Now, crit. Old Eleven looking for the arena, and the crit chooses the correct path, at least for now, though. They oh, bushwhack onto two. This is a lot of space, even if he does die. Ooh, terrorize? Oh, it just clips him. Yeah, into the Bramble now, and Old Eleven spears him into a tree. 
down he goes, but you're right. Space definitely created, but in the meantime, Fly and Ice 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 teaming up to take out this Medusa potentially. No TP, no oh, yo yo. He's done. Absolutely, no reinforcements even remotely close, and the finger of death expended for Fly, that is the first charge for him. You get a really good Earth Spike, or you get an Acorn Shot combo with the Bushwhack. But it's not nearly as reliable. Oh, right. Ice Ice showing off that the blink dagger, and Kanka's just going to get destroyed. But Terrorize oh! into the A blast onto four. No Ori way. ends up dying in the end, but this might be a huge turnaround for BG Gaming regardless. Fly dies. Ice 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 is next. There's still the AA blast applied, but now Arteezy comes in with that reflection, and DY gets crit down by Abed. PYW in the meantime getting chased as well. So somehow this turns around again, this time in EG's favor. Old 11, ooh, with the side blades, almost enough to take out Old 11, but the right click from Arteezy with that Dragon Lance is more than enough. Now Pioyo stuck in the wrong place at the wrong time. Three EG members pounding upon him. I'm not sure if they actually want to dive this, but with that beautiful bushwhack from Crit, it's a full team wipe for E freaking G. But his hero is relatively relevant right now with the way he has chosen to build. Dragon Knight opening. Yeah, blink, instant, stun into the finger of death, and down goes PYW already. But the Mars ult to follow. See if they can get a roundup kill onto Fly or Crip. He's just going to get controlled for now, but instead they find Ice Ice Ice, who is still on the other side of the cliff, and now Abed chasing Ori. Crit's in the, in the vicinity with that bushwhack, and that's a double kill for Abed. So in the end, three for one. And uh, Medusa be a great example. Even if she has a Manta style, her illusions are just not as strong as Terrorblades. Uh, smoke on the EG, a quick blink there for old 11. Didn't break the smoke though, did he? Oh, he yeah, broke he, a crit. He broke crits. He broke crit, yeah. They're gonna follow him in. He's still in the ancient area here. Ice 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 pops the dragon for him, has the blink available into the dragon tail. And Abed, oh, he's actually on the cliff. Let's see if they can take advantage of this. He's gonna attempt to TP out right away. He's learned a lot from his teammate Arteezy. They find the kill, he gets out successfully. Be Ice 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 might not be so lucky, but the hoodwink, crit. All right, the, the bushwhack is enough. And Ice Ice Ice. All these initiations as Arteezy now gets initiated by PYW. The Bedlam. Can okay. he actually do this? I mean, is it just him right now? No, he can't do this. Yeah, it is just him. He's going to get bushwhacked back into the Sunder and into death. Oh, gaming. all right. Old 11 jumps in with the arena. AA Blast is coming. It looks like it will just clip him. And with that bow, we'll finish him off. Of course, no ages for him. They're going to be able to clean up onto the AA in the meantime. Ice 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 gets a nice stop. In. All right. Old from crit. Ends up connecting onto Ori. And finally, after that halberd wears off, Abed should be able to net himself this kill. And that'll end up being a freebie. So it did cost Arteezy his life. They still have a lot of team fight, but it feels like the Mars Arena is kind of the glue yeah, for, for sure. this entire lineup to, to work. Is. And now, yeah, that's yeah. a freebie for All Abed. All right, yep, DY takes a bit of a tumble with that Deso as Ice 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 jumps in now into the Mars here. AA Blast is available. He buys back into the game. The boat onto two. Terrorize onto two as well. And actually, they're oh, getting they're chased out completely. Arteezy does get the Sunder off. Hit by the AA Blast. The spear They missed. did get the Mars in the end. As Piyoyo. All right, Abed able to just destroy him. Triple kill for Abed. And this is getting out of control in EG's favor. Lower bracket semifinals. Okay? Respecting my elders here. <laughs> Damn you. All right, here we go. Uh oh. Oh, the letter, he, he misses missed. it. Oh, Ice 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 gets the instant Dragon Tail. Bushwhack to follow. And there's the finger of death that Fly didn't use earlier. Good choice, my friend. And as a result, now five versus four. There is a buyback, though, for Old Eleven. And Abed, I believe that is a double damage applied to. Oh my god, yeah, that's a double damage, all right. PYW gets destroyed. Boat coming in with the AA Blast. Arteezy already at half HP. Remember, no Aegis online Man's for anybody right now. Sunder. Needs to get this Sunder off. He'll get it. There it is. On to Ori, and Ori just gets right clicked into Oblivion. And GG is called. This was a mega shellacking, Cinderin. And we are going to a game three. After that game one, they can reset, and they did. To say the least, uh, I mean, would you favor one team in the early, like in terms of laning? Like, obviously, this is still relatively early, just like on paper, as we see Old Eleven getting pressured a bit, PYW in the meantime. Oh. All right, Fire Spirit's applied with the Arteezy Metamorphosis, and actually, they're just gonna turn this on to Old Eleven. He does have the Ink Swell applied to him right now, but that's first blood for Arteezy. This was a Puck favored lane, but I think Lina's have kind of just caught up, both mm. in terms of playstyle and a little bit of buffs to the hero, so it's probably uh, a relatively even uh, The Hex, yeah, and with the rotation dead. of Abed, not even needing to coil here. Makes it super easy to connect, and then the Puck with the Silence. Oh, they're gonna oh, get DY as well. Oh, cancel TP, that's pretty big, DY. All he can do is cold embrace, but again, ice, ice, ice. It feels like EG always have these heroes <laughs> that just burst them down in the cold embrace. 
Yep. And, and they're going to get the tier 1 tower. And this is an 8 minute tier 1. This is really Very good. big lead for EG. And EG will definitely try to squeeze every advantage they can out of the map. Already looking at the mid tier. Oh, my God. oh Finger okay. of death used top lane. That's going to net, 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 net them the kill on the faceless void. As the egg comes out in the mid lane, tier 1 tower is still surviving. But the chakram damage, way too much to withstand. Fly does take a tumble, but again, these are core heroes going down for Vici Gaming. Winter Scars into the hoof stomp. Inkswell to follow. Looks like Abed. No, he does get the phase shift off in time, along with the illusory orb. Trying to get to the high ground, but the stroke of fate does connect. Puts the GG branch down. It's really just for show and nothing else. Doesn't really block anything. Abed, looks like he will get the last orb off and should be good to go. In this game, might not be the worst oh, idea. All right, Yules from Ori. LSA is there into the Laguna Blade and Doom, but there's a heals from Fly coming out. I'm not sure if Ice 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 can get it. He is super tanky, though, but I think finally they will be able to... I mean, they expended pretty much everything. Winter's Curse is still there, though. But yep. then again, now that status resistance is the thing, I know how much you hate it. It does give you another option, which I love personally. Yep. Oh, hey, Crit, he jumps word. in with the Hex onto Lena, but the... Winter's Curse is there. Ice 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 applying some pressure oh, to DY no. in the meantime. Poyo Yo misses the Chronosphere. Now the coil onto two. Cold Embrace, but you have to think with Ice 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 nearby that Ori should be done, though. And indeed he is. DY bailing out Poyo Yo, attempting to TP out himself. The egg isn't quite in range. Must have been right on the edge there. And Old Eleven gets out as well. So what damage do they have? Oh. It's a strong illusion, so I don't think you can, you can't hex it Ooh. or mono drain it, right? Oh, oh he sees him. Oh. Yule. Yep, waning rift to start. He's silenced for now, but actually the juke around the trees. Abed doesn't want to oh, coil. Illusory orb. Oh, oh there's does. the coil. Now they know he's here. And this will lead to a pretty easy kill for oh, he EG. Broke it. Oh, no. I mean, he was dead anyway, let's be real. But, wow, that was very oh, close. I wonder why he waited for Ori so long to on get the coil. Out. Maybe they were trying to bait in extra reinforcements from VG. They will claim it. Putting it on RTZ. And the burst. Oh, boy, oh, yeah. efforts were in vain. Yep, Things time lock. out of here. Doesn't have a TP for 23 seconds. Chase him. They might assume he has it. In the trees right now. They do not have scan oh, right now. Abed could honestly find him here with an orb. Abed. <sighs> misses. Oh. I mean, this is completely blind. There's no reason to think that he doesn't have his TP up. So he'll be good to go. Yeah. Now He's the question is, wave now, is think. that Yule's trick? Oh, he found him. Wait. Oh. Oh, he actually jumps in. Gets the waning rift. The batches are coming out. Chronosphere is available. Gets the coil off. Looks like he wants to pump that. Nope, Abed. Just creating space as Crit comes in with that Hex. Impale to follow, and wow, I cannot believe they found that kill. Unbelievable for EG. That pays off big time. That's high ground for EG. Absolutely. Meta is popped. And Arteezy still with the Aegis for another two minutes. Doom is available. Obviously, Arteezy is not the target you want to go for. As the BKB is ordered. Oh, I, oh, uh, okay. That it is the target you want to go for, apparently. He's just going to get healed by Phoenix in the back line. Uh, this, hmm, question mark? D interesting is a very good voice line for hmm. this. Hmm. That is really bad news. I mean, it's one thing if you doom him and kill him, so you burn the meta, right? But you bought five seconds. <laughs> That's all you did. You used BKB and doom, now you... Oh yep, my that goodness. is a tier three tower this and a giant not, spell down for Vici. Not a good look for Vici and Old Eleven in particular. That just feels a little bit like a, a tilt move, like panic. Right. He had time to wait for his teammates. You Arteezy's see the meta is down. about to run out, but they, I mean, they get what they came for. They give it up. Absolutely. Is he actually going to stick for the range? Is this worth? <laughs> I mean, 50 seconds on the Aegis, so he probably won't even use it. Sunder into Satanic, which he has done earlier this tournament. They want to fight here. Yep. Again, everything is up. They just haven't been able to combo these spells at all. Old Eleven with the Ink Swell in the Blinken. Ice 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 is their target for now. LSA connects into the Laguna Blade and the Doom applied as well. Soulbind onto two. Poyo Yo finally with the Chronosphere on multiple heroes. And they're going to be able to get two EG members as Arteezy pops the Metamorphosis and fly. The Egg didn't really do much, but there's a coil. Only onto oh, one. He's actually going to break it. And now Arteezy beats the absolute oh. shit out of Abed. And down he goes, and this means oh. EG need to backtail away. Doom with Midas. They are still building and building and building on this lead. And Arteezy will look to break a bit here. Yep, top lane is third play right now. But oh my god, a lot of damage being applied to Arteezy. And that is the Aegis down in are the blink of an eye. Doom is already used. There's the Chrono onto Arteezy. Question is, is there any save? The Sunray is coming in through the Chronosphere. Arteezy trying to get off the Sunder, trying to get off his cheese as well. But the Winter's Curse applies. Looks like he might go down here. It's going to be really close. Finally dropped, but he does have buyback if he wants to expend it here. Looks like 
Lion has already done so. Now Abed trying to run away, so it looks like Arteezy will save it. No, he actually does use the buyback. Abed getting right click down, gets the phase shift off. Looks like he might be okay. Poyo Yo coming in with the right clicks. He doesn't quite have the vision. Illusory Orb comes out. Abed still more than fine. Getting healed up now by Fly. He's actually going to jump into Poyo Yo. There's the save potential from DUI, but they still have the burst damage to go through. And again, Buyback from Arteezy, but he has meta. And now he's going to be doing this ridiculous amount of damage. DY gets melted. Of course, Winter's Curse on cooldown is old 11. All right, can they actually burst down Arteezy? Oh this is a dieback with the LSA Laguna Blade combination. And now EG have to get the hell out of here. Gem is dropped. Crit will pick it up and blink away. Holy shit, they, they that. destroyed him. That illusion. Look at that. It's very fast, too. Yeah, and it's ranged, <laughs> even though it looks melee. Yeah, it, they know now that they have to contest this. And Double there's a damage. DD top. And I believe Arteezy will be coming for that. I'm actually a little surprised he's only level 22. Does that surprise you? It's 48 minutes. It feels a little bit low. It happens a lot of the time to Terrorblade, right? Like, you get so much of your farm with illusions. Oh, oh we're gonna finally get the initiation. Poyo Yo, he gets abyssal bladed into the Laguna Blade. Is that gonna be enough? Yes, he actually pops a BKB, but no Chronosphere to follow. Still has buyback to work with. And then you're seeing the Puck Ags come into fruition. Four dead in the blink of a freaking eye. All have buybacks. Yeah, that was kind of just. I don't know if he got bashed after the abyssal. I didn't see him get bashed. All right, I think they're waiting for this void buyback before they maybe How many potentially are back here. That's two. <laughs> A many, we're many Lincolns. Again. All right, they're trying to pop them. Old eleven. He gets. Oh, it's the Lotus Orb Doom back on himself, and this will create enough space to at least get the melee racks. Roshan is now up. All right, let's see. All right. just They're actually giving it to Arteezy. Just for the overall potential you have. We have a refresher, by the way, in Abed. He has the Aegis as well, so Swift with all the Lincolns. Okay. Uh, it's not delivered quite. Oh, there it is. All right, we're going to have the There's coil the fear. into the fear, like you said, Arteezy. The BKB is popping on Poyo, yo. All right. He gets off the Chronosphere onto two, but do they have enough damage? Abed is just beating the crap out of Lina. That's a double kill for him to start things off. Buyback onto him. And I believe with that, Vici has zero buybacks left. Another coil, that's a refresher. Doom applied to the Timber Saw, but the right clicks from Arteezy are just way too much. Triple kill on Abed. Five versus three. And EG look like they're going to move on in the tournament, and Vici will be eliminated. What a game of dotes. We're not quite done yet. Abe wants to farm the fountain just a little bit. They don't really have any meaningful ults up other than Laguna Blade. As, oh, okay, Abe actually taking a lot of right-click damage from Ori. And repositioned himself nicely, though. And they're just going to continue to pound into this Ancient. And there's the Abyssal Blade from Arteezy. The GG's come out. And EG, they are looking really good right now, I have to say. I mean, they played this with a lot of discipline. Maybe they could have won earlier, but they're respecting their opponent. Beachy's had a great run this tournament.